Coach. She's a Success Club All-Star legend. And this is her first time speaking, so can we give her a huge warm welcome? <laughs>
Um, my doctor wrote back and said, you're fine. You don't need anything. You're fine. Just wait. And I was like, what? What am I supposed to do right now? And, uh, and so it was bad. Like, you know, I was crying. I hated my body. And it was finally like I had a coming to Farron moment. And I was like, I need to do something about this. Like, you need to, you need to get yourself together. And so I, I just did. I, like, did P90X. I was like, I'm doing it. And I started doing 21 Day Fix. I started drinking Shakeology. Turns out I love it. Um, so I don't know what happened the first time. I guess the whole change. But, um, and I loved it. And so I started doing it. And I started, um, you know, I started seeing results and confidence. I started to feel awesome. And so that's what kind of brought me to beach body. Um, so in doing that, when you start to do beach body, you know how those Facebook algorithms are, you start to see all these coaches. And I say the best thing about coaches is that they're always talking about everything. Like it's the best thing in the world. And like, look at all of us. How many people are here? We're all going to post the same thing. Like, I'm the best team ever. This is awesome. <laughs> like, and that's what everybody's going to see. We're going to flood Facebook tonight. And that's what I saw. And I was like, I love Beach Bot. Like, these coaches are awesome. And that was the one thing I was missing as a mom was that community. And so um, I saw a post that said, Be That Girl. And it was these girls. And they're in Destin, Florida. They're on the beach hanging out and talking about coach life. And I was like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you snort shake Shakeology, but I'm doing it. <laughs> like, I'm serious. I would do it. Like, if I can hang out with you girls, you guys are awesome. I'm doing it. So I wanted to be that. So I signed up. I was like, sign me up. Who, who are you? You're what? Mrs. Mitchell? Sign me up. I didn't know you were a top coach. I didn't know anything. I was like, just sign me up. I want to do this. Like, this, that was, we're talking about defining our success. Success to me meant being there, like meant like making your mom life into something else. Like I wasn't just a mom, I wanted to be a person. I wanted to be on the beach. I wanted to be with these people who liked me because of me. And so I put this quote on here and this is part of my full circle moment because this actually, when I was scrolling back from pictures two years ago, I took this exact same screenshot. You know how you guys all, I see you guys are taking pictures of this, right? And I took this, I was like, I'm gonna use this on a photo one day. <laughs> Turns out two years later, I'm actually gonna use it now. But it's this is by Maya um, D'Angelo. It says, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve that beauty. And I'm using this because I saw these beautiful butterflies on the beach of Destin. And I was like, I want to be there. I want to be you. And then I was like, what do I need to do to get there? And I didn't know what it took. So Melanie said, please like, talk about what did you do in the first 18 months that got you there? So what I did is I owned my success. My success was being on Destin, Florida, sitting on the beach with these awesome, beautiful ladies. That was my success. I was also a CT tech, x-ray tech. I worked full-time hours at the time. I didn't need the money. I love my job. My husband has a great job. My success was being a part of a community. Um, but money did come. I really do think that when you get to your success, like it all kind of goes hand in hand. So here's exactly what I did. And I told my audience say exactly what I did. So the first thing I did, I didn't put it on here, but this is really important to me, um, is that the first thing I did is I told my husband what I was doing. And I sat down with him, and he's here, and he's like my biggest support system. But I said, hey, look, I want to be a coach. Like, I think I want to do this. I want to change someone's life. And he was like, let's do it. And he like was on board. And I hear a lot of coaches tell me, like my coaches, other coaches are like, my husband's not really supportive. He's not really into this. I don't know. And I'm like, does he know your goals? Like, does your husband know you're here tonight? Like, does he know what you want to do tonight? I'm serious, because probably some of you are probably like, I'm just going to piss back with some girls. <laughs> and you're laughing because it's true. It's true. So, like, did you tell your husband, I want to be something. I want to change someone's life. I want to make a difference. Because that's what I said to my husband. I want to make a difference. And he was like, let's freaking do it. Let's do it. And so every time I had a success, I said, like, I would tell him when I saw the challenge pack. I told him when I, like, got a coach on board. I told him when I made money, because that was money towards us. And the reason why, I, I, think, I hear, like, why I say, like, oh, my husband's not into it. Well, if you didn't tell him your goals, and all of a sudden, one day, they're like, I'm not watching TV with you anymore. I'm just going to sit in the park playing my cell phone. No wonder they hate beach body. I hate beach body. If my husband did that to me, I would hate him, too. I'd be like, quit that right now. Let's stop. We're not doing this shit anymore. me he loves me because of my success and we did it together so that was the first thing so I didn't put in there so if you didn't tell your husbands tell your husband your husbands your wives your mom whoever you spend the most time with tell them your goals I want to be this I want to be a diamond coach so they know that when you are on your phone they
that you're trying to change someone's life. And then if they don't get that, see ya. So, <laughs> kind of. Okay, so training. When I say training, the first thing that I did as a coach is I, there was a new coach university, and I know you all are getting your emails now about the things to do in the first 30 days. I did it. And when I say I did it, I didn't just do it, I freaking did it. I never had fast it, I went all in, and I did it. And so by training, I meant like the first 30 days, there's a, it says the vital, the four vital behaviors. And when they said invite three people a day, damn if I didn't invite three people a day. Like, I mean, I did. And I went, and I know if you're like, well, like me, I never, I didn't have any friends on Facebook really. I went back through and all the people, all the people from high school that I was like, mm, I don't want to invite you. I was like, hey, let's be friends. Woo! I was like, invite, 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 like, let's be friends. And then it went, like, when she said invite five people a day, like, I invited five people a day. And so my success didn't, I didn't go all crazy with this. Like when she says, you know, invite five people a day, and that was one of the behaviors, I didn't invite 10 all the time. Like I just stuck to consistency. And so what I did is I, um, I would invite, and I remember laying in my bed, and I like jumped out of bed, and my husband's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I only invited one person today. And he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. And she said five people a day, I'm doing five people a day. So I jumped up and I did it. Like, why would we not do the things that are told? Like, this is how to have success. Why would we not do those things? Like, so, um, part training and posting three times a day. I did that. When she said that, like, part of the training was posting three times a day, I have never once, I've been a coach now for almost two, about two years, I've never missed one day of not posting. Um, and so, and like I did that, I always post my workout. And if I don't, I post why I'm not working out, what I'm doing, what's healthy. And it's the consistency. And I tell you what, because of that, I've had people that have joined me. It's been two years and they're finally like, hey, I want to join you. And they want to join me if I just gave up midway through. And a lot of people would see that as maybe, maybe you'd see that as a failure. Like it took someone two years. But for me, I see it as success. It took two years and I can change someone's life because I proved that I'm not going anywhere. So. When I talk about growth, I'm saying that um, I, growth is that I'm always trying to be better. I'm always trying to do something extra. I'm always trying to do something else. I learned Facebook, great, I got that down. I'm gonna learn Instagram. Now I'm gonna learn how to blog. I'm always trying to be better because you can't expect to grow in your business if you don't grow yourself. So what I did is I, I did Facebook, I did Instagram, I do trainings, I use something called Google, and I get on there and I Google it, like how to be better at Instagram. Like, it's super easy, guys. It's so easy, and I do it, and I'm rocking it. Um, next, I put on here events. And the reason why I put events is because I have never missed a Super Saturday or any event. I even went to London because I didn't want to miss anything. Partly, I have FOMO, but, <laughs> but the other part is because I love these things. And you could never start working at Target and say like, hey, I want to be the best person here works at Target. And they're like, awesome, can you show up to this event? We're gonna talk about how to be a better person. And then you're like, yeah, no, I'm gonna Chuck E. Cheese that day. <laughs> like, you would never do that. So why would you do that with your business? If you want this, you would never do that. So I've never missed a Super Saturday. I don't miss events. When my coaches do something, I'm there. When my coaches wanna have a wine night, I'm definitely there. Like, I'm always there. And I say that because I am really proud because my team, like, we live four hours away. And I, like, as soon as I heard about Super Saturday date, I was like, you gotta be here, you gotta be here, you gotta be here. And like, 14 of us drove four hours to be here today, and my team. And I'm pretty freaking proud of them. So, I really didn't even know I was speaking. I, like, wouldn't even tell them. I, like, I didn't even know until, like, last week. So I was, like, really proud that they came without knowing that they were actually supporting me. So that was pretty awesome. So I put on here action. Um, and we now it seems like that kind of is a recurring event. It's funny because we talk about owning our success, and none of us really knew what each other were talking about, but we all kind of come back to taking action. And the biggest thing I did, and I've talked to other coaches, is like taking action. Because you're going to hear a lot of stuff today, and you have to take action. You just have to do it. You just have to freaking do it. Like when someone, your coach says, hey, you should probably invite work, and we should do this. And you're like, cool, cool, cool. I'll do it like next week when I have time. Do that today. What are you doing? Like, do it. Do it right now. Oh, did I hit the button? That's the button you told me not to hit. I did it. Right. <laughs> did it. I did it. Okay, so, was that it? All right, guys. So, I'm coming here because this is me. And, well, this is me and my friends. Uh, and, and Destin. And this is one of those, like, life, you know, this is my full circle moment being here, but being there because I made it to that retreat. And so, what the qualifications were is you had to be a diamond coach, you had to work towards a team leader. And so I didn't know what I was doing. Again, I don't. I didn't have a bachelor degree in B 
beach body. I didn't know anything. I didn't know how to sell Shakeology. I didn't know anything. I just knew that this had potential. And all I had to do was do these things. I just wake up and like do a make it a priority. And I made beach body and my life a priority. So I got to go on this trip to Destin and it felt like amazing. And that felt like success to me. And then actually that was, and then a year later I got to go and I got to take my coach. And that felt like even more success because I got to do that for somebody. And so this was actually on the wake up call and you should all be listening to the wake up call. But Jeff Hill said, life rewards action. And I thought, you know what, he's freaking right. Because like if you put your life in action, like it will reward you. Like everything that you've ever wanted out of Beachbody, out of your life, whatever this is, like if you just wake up and you take action. And the one thing that when I remember in this full circle moment for me was when I was at Super Saturday two years ago, sitting in those seats, sitting all the way in the back, and they said, what are you gonna do with the information that you get right here today? They're like, are you going to do something with it on Monday? Are you going to do something with it now? Or are you going to wait a couple months and then decide then you want to be the top coach? Then you want to be perfect? Or are you just going to take it and do it? Because I have seen a lot of success from Beachbody, and it's because I just woke up and I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take action. I'm going to do it. Whatever it says comes my way, I'm going to do it. So that's it from me.